Hi guys, Jay here from Impact Strength and Performance. Now, on the weekend there, I was kind of met up with a few family members and we were having dinner. And again, if there's kind of people from outside the family coming in or anything like that and they find out that I've got anything got to do with fitness or it might be aunties or uncles, they've always got questions, you know, when it comes to lose that little bit on your belly. And generally it kind of revolves around this. People have got something that they want and this is a kind of uh, point A or point A is where they are right now. So that could be, you know, um, currently I've never run a 5k but I want to do a 5k at some time in the future so point A I've been sitting on the couch and point B I want to run a 5k it could be you know I'm a stone overweight and I want to lose a stone in the next few weeks so the easiest way to get from point A to point B is going to be a straight line okay but generally what we find or what I find is that people will make all sorts of excuses and kind of sabotage themselves and kind of take themselves off that straight line and make all the excuses in the world why they're not going to start that they're not going to get involved in whatever this goal might be so you kind of might sit down and say to somebody you know the easiest way to get from point a to point b is and you'll go into a little bit of a spiel and they'll come back with you and kind of say listen but i've got no time and you kind of go into it and you explain why or how you can make time and then you might turn around and say so i've got no time we've got rid of that then turn around saying, oh, well, I can't afford new shoes, or I can't afford this, or I can't afford that, or I can't afford a gym. And then we'll go into it and we'll explain, you know, how we can make it more affordable, let's say. Then from there, okay, so we've taken the first two uh, points out, and then they'll come up with another thing. It might be, you know, well, I want to lose weight. I eat great, you know, I eat really, really well, but I just don't seem to lose weight. And it's obvious if you're gaining weight or if you're trying to lose weight and you're not you're not actually eating great so again we get rid of that one then you might turn around and say you know i've tried all this stuff before and it works for these other people but it doesn't work for me so again they've come up with another excuse and then you know they might keep on going keep on going and it's like you know well i'm going to start it after the uh, my daughter's communion. I'm going to start it after the wedding. I'm going to start it when I go back to work. So again, there's another excuse. And the big thing you got to think, if you want, you're at this point A and you want to get over to this point B, what you've got to do is you've got to stop waiting for perfection, okay? Nothing's ever going to be perfect. And you've got to stop waiting for permission. Somebody to come along and tell you now is the right time. You've just got to make the decision and jump in. I'll give you a little bit of an example for myself. So myself and Sean were away in America there um, a few weeks ago. And we were sitting down in the airport, all the planes were delayed, and this woman came along and said, look guys, you're not gonna get a room for the night, you're gonna have to sleep in the airport. So she brought us down to these armchairs, they know them ones that kind of kick back and they vibrate, you throw in a few dollars in the side. So I says, great, we're gonna stop, uh, stay here for the night. So I threw in whatever it was, $2, $3, and the thing started vibrating. And as I kind of kicked back into it, some shit started jiggling around a little bit, and I was like, holy fuck, what's going on here? <laughs> Things were jigging around, I was like, this isn't good here, man. <laughs> and for me, it was like, you know, I got married a few weeks ago, the business has been really busy, we've been traveling. And again, this was me, this was me making all these excuses, you know. I was here, and in terms of health and fitness, I wanted to do X, Y, and Z. And I was like, oh, well, I'm getting married, you know. Oh, well, I'm going away. Oh, well, I'm going to watch Ireland at the Euros. I'm doing all these things instead of doing what I should be doing. So I kind of had this epiphany moment. My before, I kind of let myself get a little bit deconditioned, a little bit out of shape. You know, I hurt my back, sprained my ankle. I was using all these things as a deflection for what I should be doing. And it was easier then to eat a little bit of crap, maybe have a few too many drinks on the weekend. So I had this point where, you know, something was going wrong. And in order to get back on track, for me personally, I need to kind of focus my mind in on one thing and have a specific goal that I want to kind of push for. So what I've done is I just looked at, listen, what's kind of happening in and around in terms of fitness that I'm interested in. So what I picked was the CrossFit Super Totals in September. So the Super Totals is going to be your max squat, deadlift, bench press, clean and jerk and snatch. Add them together. Whoever gets lifts the most is the winner, okay? And for me, kind of one cool thing about that, Squat, bench press, deadlift, I have no problem with. When it comes to snatching and cleaning and jerking with a barbell, it's kind of not my area of expertise. So the solution to that problem is go hire a coach, ask somebody that has the skills and bring them in to help you. Then I kind of said, I read a book when we were going away and it kind of sparked me interest. So it was Alex Bayada's hybrid athlete. He's coming over in a few weeks. And I kind of halfway through the book, probably right there in the middle, I just highlighted sprint triathlon. And I kind of got this thing, this seed in my head going, hmm, I wonder what that would be like. And for anybody that knows me, I don't do any running anymore. I used to do a lot. 
I've never done any cycling of kind of competitive or anything like that. And swimming, I'm like a brick in the water, okay? So again, I turned around and said to myself, got onto the computer, when is the furthest one away? So the sprint uh, season, or the triathlon season, is really, really small. So the furthest one away was in September. So I just booked it. After I booked it, then I started worrying about, I don't have a bike, uh, I don't know how to swim, um, don't have a wetsuit, don't have all these things. But again, the fact that I went down, I booked it, I paid some money, I put in my details, I said, this is what I'm gonna do. Now I've got a bike, I've got a coach, I've got everything I need in order to get this done. The only thing left to do is put in the work, put in the effort, and that's gonna come easy. So guys, hopefully this has kind of twi uh, tweaked something in your head, and if you need help, in the comment section down below, we'll just put a little link. And again, sometimes all you need to do is talk to a coach. We're not even saying come down to the gym and get stuck in the training. Maybe you just need somebody to point you in the, re in the right direction. So if this has helped you in any way, leave us a comment below or get in touch with us and see how we can help. And again, guys, just in terms of the training, I nearly forgot. What I'm gonna do is kind of use Facebook and use our blog to kind of hold myself accountable because it's very easy to put yourself out there and say you're gonna do these things and then everybody forgets about it. So tomorrow what I'm gonna do is throw together a blog kind of showing you a rough outline of what my training's gonna look like. So I've got nine weeks to kind of peak or maximize my strength in these five lifts and then I've got about 10 weeks in order to build up enough aerobic capacity and learn the one or two skills I don't have in terms of the track line. So what I'm gonna do is put that into a little blog tomorrow. At the end of each week, I'll just kind of go back and see how the week went, tell people how I'm doing, talk a little bit about nutrition. If anybody has any questions, jump on board. If anybody actually wants to come and do any of this training with me, I'd much appreciate it. Thanks, and I'll see you again tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>